Hey what's up everyone, in this video I'm going to go over a couple of techniques that I use to align my views between sheets. I already have my structural project open, I've already linked the architectural Revit model, set up my plan views, inserted a title block, and set up my scope box. If you'd like to see how I set everything up, check out the links in the description below. In order for these alignment techniques to work, the crop region for each view has to be the exact size. I used a scope box technique to get a consistent crop region between my views. I went over the scope box technique in a previous video so I will not be covering that here. But you can check out the video with the link I've provided in the description below. So let's get started. I'm going to go to a sheet I've already created. Then I'm going to select one of my plan views and drag it out from the project browser onto the sheet. Right now I'm going to place the view anywhere on the sheet. I don't want to see a title on the viewport at the moment. So with the plan view on the sheet selected, I go to the properties window, drop down the viewport title, and select no title. The first technique that I'm going to cover is snapping the viewport to guidelines from the title block. I select the viewport and enter the move command. I use the keyboard shortcut MV to enter the move command. When I am in the move command, I can snap to the endpoint of the viewport and snap it to the edge of the title block. With the viewport selected, I go back into the move command by selecting the move option on the ribbon and I snap the viewport to the bottom of the title block. I'm going to move the viewport again. This time I'm going to move the viewport a specific distance, say about 2 inches from both the side edge and the bottom edge. So here I've precisely located my foundation plan view on this sheet. I'm going to create a new sheet and repeat the same process for my second floor framing plan view. I want this plan view to align with the foundation plan view, so I have to keep in mind the distance that I used to locate the foundation plan view, which was 2 inches from each edge. And I'm going to repeat the process one more time with my roof framing plan view. Now my plan views on each sheet are aligned. Keep in mind that this only works if you have the same size crop region for each view. Now I'm going to show you the second technique I use to align views on my sheets. The first technique requires guidelines to be in the title block family and sometimes the title block doesn't have any guidelines that you can use. You can add the guidelines to the title block yourself but I don't like to do that. So let me show you what I do instead. I position the plan view where I want it to be located. I need to create a point of reference that I can use to locate the other plan views at the same location. I can use a detail line to snap to the corner of this crop region and then copy that detail line to my other sheets. To create a detail line I go to the annotate tab and hit the detail line option. I am going to use the upper left corner of the viewport as my reference point. After I draw out the detail line, I select the detail line and hit the cut option from the ribbon. Then I go to one of the other sheets, go to the modify tab, and under the paste option I select align to the same place. The detail line is pasted exactly at the same location that it was cut from. Now I have a reference point that I can snap the viewport corner to. Now I just repeat the same process for the remaining sheets. So now my views are all aligned across all of my sheets. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful please like, subscribe, and share.